Hi, John D. Riley, researcher at Zero Point Research. Just got back from Egypt from our 12, 12, 12, 21 journey and uh, brought back some different materials and I wanted to show people exactly uh, how uh, certain uh, natural materials function in the radiant energy field that we call live stream. Now this piece here I had uh, uh, with my Egyptian family that, uh, create, uh, that they do uh, carvings and work with them about the ancient understandings of, the, of uh, what really happened in Egypt. And when we connected last year, we uh, did some uh, radiant energy tests where I brought some technologies to Egypt and got to see how, theoretically, uh, based on my prior theories of how what happens when certain natural elements actually come into this energy field. So this is a piece of limestone, and as you can see, it looks like a jet pillar, and that's uh, this, this representation of the backbone of Osiris. When we look at it from an engineering standpoint, this is very similar to a capacitor and also uh, in, in regards to and, uh, uh, how uh, actually a Tesla coil would actually work of accumulation of energy. And in the ancient uh, Egyptology, this means stability. So when we look at it, if it, from an energy standpoint, if it would stabilize the field of energy, it would t tend to make sense. So this is just a natural piece of limestone. You, you could take normal technology and this would be considered non-conductive in every aspect. But then when we bring it into the radiant energy, this is where it gets really interesting. I have various materials here. I have a little uh, segment statue made out of green uh, granite. And uh, this is a white alabaster. This is one of the most amazing uh, elements here because it absorbs energy. And this is what some of the, the greatest uh, altars, you know, these 200 ton altars that are found in some of the sacred temples are made out of. And it's very fragile. I have a couple pieces here. And you can see it in its, in its raw form. It looks like this, but of course, in the quarries, you know, but then it just breaks apart. You know, it just falls apart. But what's, what's amazing is that they're able to build these incredible uh, structures out of it. And uh, so, but again, that's, a, that's kind of a missing technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power up the live stream here. I just wanted to show you, like when we put our, uh, you want to come in with the camera? When we put our uh, little conductor here, you know, as we can see, there's really minimal energy. And this is, this is easily touchable. You know, so the energy is non-absorbing. As you can see what happens when my finger touches the live stream here, you see there's definitely accumulation of energy. Now let's see what happens when we put it on the green granite. Okay, now what we're, as you can see, there's a lot of different sources of energy here. Now let's put it on the, on the jet pillar here and see what happens. So you can see there's a huge accumulation in this element. And look at that energy arc. This is, again, it's unlike any other material that we've actually put on here. Even metal won't harness energy this much. But again, a jet made out of certain elements, as you can see, how it transfers that, that, that energy. Now, as you can see, I'm, I'm holding this with my fingers, and so the transfer of energy through it is, is very uniform. There's no imbalance that's happening to me when I'm interacting with this energy. So, that's it. I just wanted to show you... Uh, Getting closer to understanding the ancient knowledge, and uh, we're uh, we'll keep progressing.